And so when you work out the math, you realize that any conceivable two-voice passage of music traces out a collection of line segments on this low instrument. So this provides us a way to visualize music. Conceivably, it provides us a way to design new, new musical instruments. You can imagine just pressing, creating a Mobius strip where you just press and get notes. And this is a space that is designed not for the performer's comfort, but for the theorist's and composer's understanding. I think of it as like a, a mental gym where you can learn the deep structural principles governing Western music. And it's a Mobius strip, which means if you go off one edge, no rats you reappear on the other end, just like in the old video games like Pac-Man or Asteroids. Uh, there's some dispute about whether this is true of Pac-Man, but it's definitely true of this Pac-Man. <laughs> but in Asteroids, if you went off the top left of the screen, you reappear on the top right of the screen. But in music, you reappear off the top right, top left, and you reappear on the lower right. So it's as if this right edge was twisted before it was glued to the left. But there's more. This is not your grandmother's Mobius strip. This is not the Mobius strip she knitted you when you were a small child. Because it turns out that it's edges. On a, Mobius, on a normal Mobius strip, when you head for the edge, you just glide with it and you end up stuck. You can't go in that direction anymore. Because of the fact that this Mobius strip arises as a configuration space of two points on the circle, we have to represent its boundary as acting like a mirror. <clears throat> you can see why that is if you look on the circle. What I'm doing is I'm telling C and E to switch places. And clearly, halfway through, they retrace the configuration that they were in. So in order to represent not just the chords, not just the two-note musical chords, but in order to have the correct association between paths and voice leads, or mappings between the words, we have to declare that this boundary is what mathematicians call singular. The boundary acts like a mirror. It doesn't have a Euclidean coordinate system. It's got a quotient of a Euclidean coordinate system. And so this means that all this newfangled math that's been developed in the last 50 years comes directly to bear on the problem of representing music in the most sort of conceptually rigorous way.